In this experiment, we're going to look at the effect of pH on enzyme activity. I'm going to use some yeast solution, which is a source of catalase enzyme. So first of all, I'm going to put 5 ml of hydrogen peroxide into each of our tubes. And then we're going to change the pH by adding different acids and alkalis. So first of all, we're going to add some strong acid. And then a slightly weaker one. A neutral solution. some alkaline and a stronger alkali and so we can actually see the pH I'm going to add some universal indicator So this one, we've got pH 1, this one is pH 4, we've then got neutral pH 7, this one is pH 8, and this one is pH 12. And then going to add a few drops of detergent to each of our tubes and then we're going to add one mil of our yeast solution to each of our tubes. We're then going to leave our reaction for five minutes and we're going to measure the height of the foam in each one. So this is one that's been sitting for five minutes. So pH one. We've got 10 mils of foam in there. pH 4. We've got 40 mils of foam in there, 40 millimeters. pH 7 has 45 millimetres. pH 8 has 50 millimetres. And pH 12 has 
8 millimetres.